If you're looking to get started with GPT Vision in your Bubble app, then look no further. Here is my quick guide to adding GPT-4 with Vision to a Bubble app. Um, this is literally only released yesterday. Uh, that was November the 6th, 2023. Uh, and uh, GPT-4 for vision basically allows you to supply an image as part of your message content to the AI and to ask uh, open AI what their opinion of the message of the image is. Um, so I have uh, got this all set up and I'm just showing you the documentation page here um, because right now you need to set your model as GPT for vision preview and uh, you need to have access to GPT-4 in your developer account, obviously. Um, and we have to take this, and if it doesn't quite look like this, make sure that it's not a uh, node that it's actually CURL, uh, and we have to put it into the Bubble API connector. Uh, so I'm gonna show you that I've done just that, which is that I've got my OpenAI call here. I will be uh, refreshing, deleting this API key later on, um, but I've got uh, my own name here that I've put in, OpenAI, for my own naming purposes, I say authenticate private key and header authorization bearer and then my API key. How do I know that? Well, because it tells me here, authorization in the header, H for header, bearer API key. I then need to also put in content type application JSON into the header uh, and uh, I have that here. I could have put that in shared header um, but I put it on the individual call for some reason. Uh, I need to set my uh, API call up here. So um, I was trying to make a website roasting tool, but uh, basically I've got a bit stuck with it. So all I'm demonstrating here is that we can take a image and provide it to OpenAI. So I will say, uh, what is this instead? And uh, then uh, I need it as an action in order to be able to play out in a workflow. Um, the endpoint is post and it is the completions endpoint. Again, how do I know that? Well, because it tells me here. Uh, and then I just need to go and basically copy everything that is in the data section, D for data. Uh, I sometimes refer to it as body though. Uh, and so I will copy all of this and paste it in. And then uh, I will customize what my message is. So my user will say, what is this an image of? Uh, and then uh, using the uh, the structure of the JSON here, I'm gonna say that it is also including an image and the image URL is here. I'm just gonna in fact change this to image. And uh, the image I'm working with is a screenshot of uh, the PNC website. And I will initialize the call. So we get a response and it says, the image you provided appears to be a screenshot of a website from a website related to Bubble, a no-code development platform. So that's us, we're Planet No Code and uh, we have got hundreds of Bubble tutorial videos. Uh, and if you are interested in uh, building your own SaaS app online with no code or even just a fraction of code like we've done in this tutorial with a bit of JSON, um, then you should check out our website, planetnocode.com. And if you've liked this video, give it a like, uh, hit the subscribe button because we've got many more videos coming out in the next few days about some of the exciting new releases from OpenAI.